sorry about that one, adventurer. I need to brief you. Seems we have a pest problem of sorts. Hmm. Ho there, friend! I know the path of scribing beckons. You're no doubt hoping to contact the Griffin Luminary. Unfortunately, it seems we have a page thief in the Scalarium. Uh, just so. We were cataloging tomes and left the fable unattended for just a moment. Then from the other room we heard yips and snarls and found it torn apart. Nalia is already at work trying to find an alternative to the missing pages. The East Wing, looking for anything Ulfsild might have left behind about the Griffin. Hopefully she'll get you pointed in the right direction. My deepest apologies. This was a grave error on my part, but it won't happen again. Don't worry. A few wards around the library and we'll make sure the page thief doesn't strike again. In the meantime, perhaps Nalia has found something left behind by Ulfsild over in the East Wing. It's going well. I'm not usually the type to work at a desk, but it's been interesting to walk the halls and see all the different titles. From what Julian and Anard have said, this place is a treasure trove of knowledge. A section dedicated to cookbooks from the First Era. Shelves of poetry from Atmora. And a startling number of bawdy limericks stacked up in a pile of chapbooks. Archmage Ufsild, it seems, was eager to follow the hunt for knowledge wherever it led. I'll help Julian and Anard set up wards. This won't happen again on my watch. Good, you're here. Give it a listen. I can already feel a pull on Ivea. Nothing we can do now will outpace the greed of a Daedric Prince. I know that this situation is hard to accept, but I wish the Griffin and the Fox would understand. This isn't a fight we can win. She sounded so sad. Losing Ivea and the Scalarium to the whims of Sheogorath must have been devastating. And it sounds like the Griffin didn't much like it either. Of course. Right now we're deep beneath the island of Ivea. Centuries ago, Ivea was a sanctuary for magic, founded by Ulfseal's husband, Shalador. Ivea was stolen from Shalador by Sheogorath, the Daedric Prince of Madness in a wager. From everything the Crow and Ulfsild's text can tell us, yes. Technically, that means we're somewhere in the Shivering Isles right now. But don't worry, Ulfsild's safeguards all seem to be holding. Which makes our interloper all the more confusing. I managed to catch sight of our pest just before you arrived, and it's... Well, it, it's a fox. Possibly the fox Ulfsild mentioned in the Echo? It was enormous and seemed intelligent. Honestly, it looked very surprised to see me. We're all in above our heads here. Don't look to me for answers. Luckily, our foxy friend might have helped us out. When he saw me, he dropped one of the pages. It's the first page to the fable with Ulfsild notes clear as day. Ulfsild must have left it behind with the annotations already visible. For some reason? Maybe if you meet that fox, you can ask him about it. I put it on the table just over there. Give it a look. Wolfsield's handwriting is on every tome in here, but she wasn't eager to share much of herself with history. As for the Griffin, he seems to come off as a strong personality, but with a bit of an interesting soft spot. That fox she mentioned. 
Well, if the Griffin is the stout defender Ulfsjold's notes make him out to be, you'd think he'd take a dim view to thievery. <laughs> but apparently this mighty Griffin and this clever fox got along as thick as... Well, thick as thieves. I think she felt there were more important things to write about. She seems very driven, in her echoes and in, in the notes, compelled by her quest to understand scribing and the luminaries, to leave behind a legacy. Magnus, I'm not sure that's possible. The Netch's joyous floating is, well, it's a singular experience. Ulfsild's notes make him out to be something of a knight in the mold of the ancient orders. Strong, true, and unyielding. Certainly. Centuries ago, long before the founding of the Mages Guild, it was an island in the Somerset Archipelago. Shalador purchased it from the High Elves in trade for some magical artifacts he'd found in his many adventures. I can't tell you all the details, just what I've heard. Old Shalador wanted some tome, an artifact Sheogorath had in his possession. And whatever the bet was, it did not go in Shalador's favor. One of the reasons Guildmaster Varnus formed the guild in the first place was because of how... Well, how toxic some cultures can be towards mages and magic. That was long after the island disappeared, but in a way, the dream of Ivea lived on. frog. Uh, let me know if you want to confer about the directions in the fable. I'm so glad we were able to overcome this little hiccup. That first page should be enough to get you going. I just hope you'll find some clue that will lead you to the next set of wards. I'm not too familiar with the rift, but I do know that the Treva is a river that splits the hold. Maybe follow it south from the Molten and see what you can find? Just remember, what was a castle overlook back then might just be ruins now. Julian and Laren are working to strengthen our wards. If it was the fox stealing the pages, perhaps there'll be enough to catch it when it returns. And of course, if you need help with something, come back here and I'll do what I can. Something about those names. Grey and Zarya. Well, they seem familiar, but I can't imagine I've read this. Maybe the fable was the basis for one of my mum's many bedtime stories? She had...
be scared. I'm a friend, I think. Oh my gosh, I was right. You're trying to fix Ulf Silt's library. You're trying to talk to the Griffin, aren't you? I am so sorry about tearing all the pages out of that book. I got excited. Oh, that, that happens sometimes. And it's what I'm good at. The stealing, I mean. Let's start over. I'm the fox. Ulf Silt said one day people might try to break in. When I saw you sniffing around, I thought I'd try and protect my friend. That's why I stopped hiding. When I got close, I could smell the Indrik on you. If the Indrik thinks you're good, then you're good. That guy knows good. I see now I was just holding you back. Let me make it up to you. About that, I took quite the mouthful of pages. And then I dropped one when your friend... Nalia, was it? Oh, when she saw me. So, uh, I thought it best to hide the other pages near the other wards. Good news, though. I hid one right here. Great! I've got my own way to get about. I'll see you at the next location. Go. You're so much quicker than I was expecting. I thought I'd have to come out and show you where it was. Oh, I'm one step closer to talking to the Griffin again. Oh, the best of friends. He's not the best conversationalist right now, 
But just wait. When he's back to his normal self, he'll be a joy to talk to. Just one more key fragment to go. Oh, right. Yes. So, I dropped it. I was down by the water taking a drink when a great large cat spooked me. I didn't think cats got that big. I think it's still down there. Find the big cat by the water and I bet that page will still be there. I believe in you! There's always more to do. right? You've really got a knack for this kind of thing. Is it possible? Have you ever been a fox? Where I come from, folks become foxes and foxes become folks. It's a thing. I was just curious. Anyway, you're so close to meeting the griffin. With this last page, you should have the whole fable put back together. Right! And good timing. All this jumping around has got my paws yelping. You go find your door. I'll head back to the griffin, and we'll get him talking. Yay! And dig, dig, dig. Here you go.
places so much as the things that lurk in them. Hey, you made it! Griffin, this is the new friend I was telling you about. They're gonna help you out! Welcome to the Wing of the Griffin! As you can see, the Griffin himself isn't quite ready to talk just yet. I've kept him company ever since the library disappeared. I'm not sure if he can hear me in there, but I talk to him every day. Oh, you should have seen him. Wings spread so wide that he could block out the sun. The Griffin was ready to take on Shea Gorath all by himself. Ulfsild was the one that stopped him, froze him here like this, to keep him safe. Ulfsild knew that in a fight between a Luminary and a Daedric Prince, the Griffin would lose. He's probably mad at her. But I'm grateful. I don't know what I would do if I didn't still have him around. And now you're here! Ulfsild conjured up a mighty blizzard to freeze him and hung the magic on a ward she left behind. You should be able to dispel it just like you do the other wards. Uh, just, just so you know, he might be a little grumpy. Sorry in advance. Remember? The fox! I remember you, my friend. Don't worry. I've just been holding that in a long, long time. Mortal, greetings and defiance. My companion has clearly adopted you, but then he's always seen the best in people. Why should I stay my claws? I have been trapped here for a very long time, mortal. I did not feel the full passage of time, but I know it's been many years. I know Ulfsild is dead. And I know what happened to Ivea. Ulfsild's mate was an old fool and the Daedric Prince of Nonsense. <laughs> bah. You have a Luminary's apology, mortal. This has not been an easy awakening. Ah, uh, once, my feathers were armor, my talons cut stone, and my beak could rend the sky itself. Ah, focused, driven, you remind me of Ulfsild, but I suppose that's to be expected. Give me a moment to gather my thoughts, mortal. Hmm, place the fable upon the dais, and if you want, speak to my companion. He'll be eager to chat, no doubt. It's so good to be able to stretch my limbs. To breathe deep again. I need to go flying soon to truly shake off this chill. But first, we have business, you and I. The other luminaries concern themselves with challenges, riddles, <laughs> frippery and dalliance. If you wish to earn my trust, my strength, know it takes heart to protect to shield those that do not have the strength to defend themselves. I chose to be a bulwark against the hordes, and I'll ask you to do the same. I will summon a list of safeguard tasks. Complete the ones that appeal to you. I will rally my strength, and we will see what happens next. Injustice did not rest while I slumbered. Your time will be well used on these tasks. And while you are gone, the Fox and I will have some time to catch up. I missed him. Dearly. 
He is loyal, perhaps to a fault. A quality that we both share. When we first met, he was attempting to save a life, and I felt compelled to intervene. Just another creature to protect, sheltering beneath my wings. I would call what we have a partnership, if he had any interest in making decisions. He is fiendishly clever, and unless I'm mistaken, I would not be talking to you today, if not for him. Our differences, I think, do not weaken us, but instead make us stronger. I act as a shield for the weak. He aids me in my calling, and we enjoy our time together. What else would you ask for in a companion? In a friend? I am not so old as the Indrik, not so young as the Netch. I was born from another's death. A great sage who stood against a terrible enemy and burned them out from within. A mighty and beautiful spell that cost them their life. The casting required a lengthy ritual, a vast pool of magicka, built day upon day, only to rush forth into a great flood. When the dam burst, there was still a great reservoir left behind. One that coalesced, distilled, into me. Elves have carved the shape of winged beasts since before mankind existed. I am a symbol. And top of mind or not, symbols have meaning. So I am the Gryphon. Sharp of talon and beak. Wings to block the sun. Justice incarnate. The circumstance of my existence is strange, to say the least. But my power, my strength, is a gift. From Magnus, from Aetherius, choose as you will. That is a gift that I could honor. Or I could squander. I choose the path of honor. I believe it is what we choose to do that defines us, not where or how we are born. When I see cruelty against the weak, when I know my gifts can make a difference, I step in. How could I not? Fox was able to leave the Griffin's side at any time, but I wonder how much he did. You've done a kind deed today. Lost Prospect, yes. I believe the land he speaks of is just east of Riften. Fox root is exceedingly rare, an herb used in clever magic. Ulfsild often sent the fox on errands to retrieve it. Its scent must remind the Griffin of her. I'm glad we got the pest problem from earlier sorted. Laren and Julian had me crawling under the most awful and dusty places looking for rats, spiders, you name it. No more of that, thank you very much. Let's see... Ah, Cyrodiil. War-torn indeed. These Aeliad ruins are more or less equal distance around Lake Rumere. And no matter who holds what, you'll likely be crossing enemy territory. I'd try to hide or run, but you may prefer to fight.
Enjoy your Damn freedom it. while you can. I could have sworn I brought that with me. Mortal, welcome back. Standing against injustice is a reward all its own. But you have my thanks as well. The time I've had with my oldest and dearest friend has been a balm on my heart. And together, we've come up with a plan. If I am to lend you my strength, if you are to master scribing, you must complete for me a boon. It's a tradition at this point. You have been as a shield for those that need it. Now the Fox and I want you to protect those closer to home. I am. In the end, as she always was, Ulfsild was right. I cannot be its only defense. With the help of my companion, you will borrow protective magic to reinforce our own. Speak to the fox, mortal. This was his clever idea, and he will be your guide. In the meantime, I will make preparations. It has been some time since these talons did delicate spell work. Move quickly and with courage as you steal these magics, mortal. The fox is a stalwart ally, but where you are going, the shadows run deep. This may surprise you. As our last moment together was a tempest of frost and ice. But Ulfseld and I were great collaborators. Before the departure of the Scularium, we dreamed of ever-vigilant watchers that would protect the complex. Yes, animated armor based off Ulfseld's design. Sentinels that can stand guard even when my gaze falters. All those years ago, we felt there was no pressing need, until it was too late. He is loyal, perhaps to a fault. A quality that we both share. When we first met, he was attempting to save a life, and I felt compelled to intervene. Just another creature to protect, sheltering beneath my wings. Barely thought out the Griffin, and now we're going on an adventure to steal magic from Daedric Princes! Isn't that exciting? Oh, oh, I better start some stretches. Don't want to cramp up. He didn't mention where we were going? <laughs> Silly Griffin. You and I are going to sneak into the realms of Hermaeus Mora, Mehrunes Dagon, and Nocturnal. We'll make away with some of their precious creatia and steal it back here. All we have to do is find somewhere the connection between Nern and a Daedric realm is thin enough for me to wiggle through. Like digging a tunnel from one den to another. Easy. All right, Mr. Big Tough Adventurer. I know for you going to a Daedric realm is like going to a corner bakery to buy some bread. But the places we'll be going are being watched. We have to be subtle. And Subtle is my middle name! You and I are heading to Rootwater Grove in Greenshade, Dawnbreak in Oridon, and an old fort called Faldar's Tooth in the Rift. Oh, and make sure you bring some lockpicks. Another adventure with you! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I think it's called Cherisha uh, Creatia. It's the stuff that the Daedric princes use to make their realms. I just have to follow my nose. I spent a lot of time with the Griffin while he was frozen, but not all the time. He wasn't holding up his end of the conversations. I would kind of take myself on walks, and I learned a lot over the years. Like, 
Well, what raw creation smells like? The Prince of Knowledge sent tentacles deep into the ground beneath Rootwater Grove. That'll let me wiggle my way into a part of Apocrypha called the Obscured Forum. He has a little bit of creation tucked away in there. It smells like old books. Do you like books? Because if you do, Apocrypha is the place for you! Books as far as the eye can see. Let's just hope we can keep a low profile over there. Hermaeus Mora has so many eyes. Bad guys that follow Dagon burned the town of Dawnbreak, thinning the barrier between Oridon and the Deadlands. We'll slip through to this fortress called Ardent Hope. The creation the prince has stashed there ugh, smells... Bernie, like sulfur. Look! There's a lot of fire, and Tremora soldiers, and ash. That's about it. I've only been there a few times because it's only either boring or terrifying with almost nothing in between. Let's just hope we don't draw much attention. I had to really sniff hard for a place I could wriggle through to the Evergloam. Faldar's tooth is full of cultists. And their prayers did the trick, I hope. I can sniff very faintly some creatia. It smells spooky, like an old mansion. Dark and full of shadows. Scary things around every corner, it seems like. It's all the worst parts of a witch's festival party wrapped up in one place. When we get there, I'll stick close to the entrance. You try not to get caught. I know this place doesn't look all that bookish, but Hermaeus Mora is actually digging around here somewhere below us. Never mind that. What's important is we're here because Apocrypha is close. So close I can smell the ink! The Daedric Prince of Secrets knows how to hide stuff. He's always doing projects, the Griffin says, so he's always using Creatia. We just have to be as crafty as he is. Lucky for us. You've got that lens Ulfsild made all those years ago. With the lens, you should be able to find your way. Just watch out for weird apocrypha magic. And traps. Hermaeus Mora loves traps. Don't worry, I believe in you. The nearby room. We must be getting close. Thank <laughs> you. 
for glory! Sense. The weight of the Deadlands being in a burnt-up village. I decided to hide up here until you arrived. I'm being careful, see? You're looking for local Creatia. A big splinter kept safe by his Dramora soldiers. Only problem is, you'll need a spell-forged key to unlock it. That chest is unpickable. You can't pick it. Yes! You are so smart. Just search through other chests of treasure till you find the Spellforged Key. Oh, and don't lick the fiery Creatia. I made that mistake once, and my tongue was numb for a month.
are here! The Creatia is just through this door! I can smell it! Sorry about all the cobwebs and cult guys, but this is the closest I could get us to Nocturnal's realm. Let's make this quick so we can get out of here. Nocturnal can shape the night. So spooky. As they roam, the spirits of Evergloam gather up that shadow stuff. Some of them have even gathered enough to make a snarl of Creatia. That's what we're after here. Shadowy Creatia. Make like the locals and stick to the shadows. You should be able to pickpocket the Creatia right out of their... shadow stuff. Whatever they're made of. I know you can do it. You could kill them, but... they didn't really do anything to us, you know? You return with treasures of fire, ink, and shadow. Though, to be fair, the fox spoiled the surprise. He was quite giddy upon his return. Well done. These stolen magics will allow me to secure the Scholarium. Ages ago, Ulfsild and I researched an ancient type of mystical soldier. I imagined these constructs as silent protectors watching over the Scholarium's halls. With the untamed power of the Daedric Princes, finally, our vision will become reality. I will. You have upheld justice, acted as a protector, and been a boon companion to my dearest friend. You've earned this, and then some. You may add my power to the scribing altar. Now is the time to put these stolen magics to use. Burn with the fires of the Deadlands. 
Let rise the shadows of Evergloom, and writhe with the ancient power of Apocrypha. of the Scolarium. Begin your watch. May it never end. Use my strength well. Rejoin my domain to the May you master scribing as you master yourself. Go and carry my strength. You will always Look at these constructs. The Archmagister himself will be jealous if we can ever get him down here. <laughs> A commitment I can respect. The role of protector often goes unsung in bardic songs. Even knights who should know better want to leap into the fray. It takes discipline and heart to be a protector. Discipline like yours. Of course. Just look around. You've made a huge impact on the Scalarium. You took another big step forward in your journey to master scribing. And, of course, you reunited two old friends. You should be proud, adventurer.